Hingy. Uh, let's have a look. Is it showing live on the YouTube? There we go. And let me put it on the Facebook. Posting it. Oh, Cezy, what you doing? You went down. Oh, you're gonna have to sit inside with me. Oh god, I nearly dropped you. Oh, for God's sake. I said things don't get any blooming worse. <laughs> right, you're going down, Cezy. God, I'm live on. I'm having a conversation with me dog. <laughs> oh, no one's. Right, anyways, we're back. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. Welcome again to uh, what's been uh, already a frenetic start of this um, FTR BTCC Blueprint of STD 8 4 design. I can still never get that name right. I just don't know why. Anyway, round three of the championship coming to you live at Blue Moon Speedway with the infield A part of the track. I'm Sean, and uh, welcome us back after his little... Uh, Run around through the notch life. It is Liam. How are you doing tonight? I'm good. Glad to be back. Sounds like I missed some good racing last week. Uh, Blue Moon always provides usually some good racing, so hope we get some good action from our return. Oh well, I hope so. Uh, we do indeed. There. Um, it's going to be quite unusual though because um, I think you said in the previous uh, in the other chat there saying that it's different because we're racing on this uh, track. Instead of the the original one, where like the first corner is that long, right hand, uh, left hander, sorry. Yeah, you go left instead of right the other yeah. way around. Yeah, yeah, indeed. So it's gonna be a little bit interesting there for the drivers to see how they pan out. As uh, as you can see, that it's uh, Ash Sharp that's gonna be uh, leading the lobby because uh, Polyphony's been having a lot of problems here tonight. And uh, I don't know what on earth my dog is doing, but he's just walking around in my bedroom. <laughs> oh, sorry, CZ. So, when we're getting qualifying underway right about now. So, while qualifying gets underway for the, another five more minutes, we'll give you how the points look then after um, Interlagos last week. God, I'm so unprofessional. I've got everything like not loaded up. Oh, God, I'm so sorry. But right, anyway, so then coming into this race. Uh, oh, the three races here tonight. Chris Clements leads the way still on 92 points. Uh, then Lewis Edwards, who is not here tonight, is on 87. So an opportunity then for Clements to build up a sizable lead, but not if uh, Tuan Vol uh, Volbrecht have something to say for it, because he sits on 82, Ewan Lloyd on 80, and then there's a huge gap there between Lloyd to Adam Piper on 61, who's tied with the champion, Ethan Graham. So Ethan kind of struggling uh, in that Subaru that he's driving with. Then you've got Lee, uh, Leon Welsh on 51, who's also tied with Roy Nashall in the Mazda, I think he's driving. Uh, Xavier McIntosh, who's struggling in the BMW on 47. Kimchi, who is a touring car winner this season. Ash Sharp on 42. Liam New on 36. Connor Hedden on 34. And uh, Kokoran on two points, but he has pulled out of the championship because he doesn't know how to drive a car. Into the team's championship. <laughs> Put it bluntly, let's be fair. Yeah. But in, the team, in the team's championship, Honda team MSD leads the way only by 11 points over Alfa Romeo Old Spice Racing. BMW Motorsport team on 129, so it's quite close between those three at the top. Then it's Team Toyota GB on 97, the Valvoline, or Valvoline team Mondeo on 95, Williams Renault dealer team 93, Vauxhall Racing on 89. But like I said, the two Vauxhall drivers of Lewis Edwards and Kokoran are not racing here tonight. So we've only got 12 races. Uh, for your for your enjoyment three rounds around here this should be some good racing here so we'll look around through the uh down the field there just to see who try tries on and uh i'll let uh, liam talk for like a few minutes while we'll sort out the uh the medium tires uh, who's using them oh it's a big responsibility for me uh, <laughs> yeah 
So we're just finishing the first timed laps. Graham had a bit of an off on his lap coming out of that hairpin section. Who's going to be first to set a timed lap? Uh, Kimchi is on an out lap, so he's crossing the line. About to get the first time. Everyone close, wanting a slipstream around here. A uh, sharp 13-3. Welsh beats it. New then beats that. Nashall and uh, Lloyd are doing some bump drafting there down the pit straight. Clearly worked. Lloyd is on pole. That's, that's that is allowed. That is allowed now. Yeah, bump. Yep, that was allowed ever since I took over. Uh, <laughs> Piper 13-1. Heron. Uh, so it's uh, Graham and Kimchi basically with unrepresentative times. Kimchi not set one and Graham had a mistake. But he will have slipstream from Nashall and Lloyd on this lap, so... Uh, double toll for him as long as he doesn't catch them and get held up in the corners. Speaking uh, of Lloyd, yeah, oh, Lloyd leading away. Yeah, I'm, I'm back now. Yeah, so Lloyd leading away, only by two hundredths of a second over Macintosh, who has not got off to the best start so far. But uh, it looks like he's a little, but he's doing quite a good job there, sitting in second place. He did do better last week at Interlagos. I think he was just getting the handles of the BMWs as Ethan just moves out of the way. Uh, a quite fast part of the track that hopefully didn't interfere with uh, Joker's lap time there. Into the last corner they go. Hit off the bouncy bit there and onto the start finish straight there. So Kimchi has improved to go to sick fastest. And uh, Leon Welsh improves. The both the, uh, the William Wendell drivers are both using the medium tyres as well as Ethan. I think. I'm not too sure. Is he? No, sorry. He's on the super soft. Connor Heddle is on the set of mediums. All alone now at the back of the pack. Does he improve only just, but only still good for 11th place there? There's a look at Nashville in 10th. But anyway, Tron Volbrecht is on the pole and he's getting help from his teammate as well. Now, Volbrecht has had the, uh, the previous two poles. Uh, at Brands Hatch and at Interlagos. So he's on for a hat trick of pole positions here. Yeah, he's got uh, his sort of SMM teammate Graham behind him, and this is an important lap for Ethan. It's going to be his only representative time. He's got cars just ahead, so he's getting a toll, but he needs to hope that he doesn't get held up by them, because this is his only chance, really, now. Cyber's going to run out before he gets round. I think there's someone just come round out the last corner there. Who was that? Just went very, very slow there. That's Clements, and Clements is on the medium tyres. So for him to be sick fastest, that's pretty darn good. As Kimchi has Kimchi just put in another lap in? I'm not too sure, but we're looking at it. Ethan, see what he does around here. Sharp improves, but only up to ninth place. Uh, Nashall improves, only up to eighth there. And Ethan goes fourth. Ethan goes fourth. And uh, it looks like that it is still going to be the same. Uh, no, it's not. Piper puts his uh, Valvoline Ford Mondeo up into fifth place. And is Kimchi? No, Kimchi's too late to do another lap there. So yet another pole then for, for uh, Volbrecht. That's free for free. So that's uh, another championship point gained for, for Volbrecht. Now let's see if he can convert that into a victory, which we'll see the starting grid come up right now. You should see McIntosh actually go second place come on the start of the street. So here we go, the Volbrecht, then Lloyd, then it is McIntosh, Graham, Piper, New, Clements, his teammate sixth and seventh, Kimchi in eighth, ninth is Nashville, his teammate. Then you've got the two Williams drivers, 10th and 11th, and Heron rounding out the field. As it's lights out and away we go then and it looks like that is uh, three abreast already coming off the start. I think that was uh, Motti getting off the line pretty good. But it looks like Ewan Lloyd is going to stick that Subaru onto the inside into the banking part and he's going to take the lead away from Volbrecht. Three abreast at the back of the pack there with uh, Welsh and Sharp and Nasho in the middle and Connor Heddon doing a bit of bump drafting. Now into one of the tricky tight first corners and Volbrecht has run a little wide and Ethan Graham now is up into third place and on second place on uh, that is Macintosh but looks like we're all relatively clean throughout the field there no real bits of contact no there was a it looked a little late oh, now there was contact now wrecked. there was a bit yeah. of contact now with uh, Welsh and Heron sorry carry on yeah it looked like Volbrecht had a little bit of a late defensive move I don't know how late it was because of the angle you mentioned Clemens lap in qualifying New was also on the medium tyres and was half a second ahead of Clements. Oh, I didn't notice that. No, I, yeah, I forgot about that, yeah. And so, so far... It, yeah, good performance for them. That team overall, we saw how dominant Mitsubishi was back in Season 9. With uh, Actually, with Clements was actually driving the Mitsubishi during that Season 9 when he uh, 
uh, I think he finished second in the championship to his teammate Nicholas Carl, which I believe he was the last rookie to win a BTCC championship. So here goes Piper. Yeah. He just comes across the line, crosses ahead of his former teammates for two seasons. That's right on board then with your championship leader trying to hunt down Kimchi. who had a great start. He's up to fifth place. Oh, and Piper oh, gets into the back of him. Second. Uh, uh, Magintosh gone from second to maybe fourth here. He went wide at turn two. Yeah, so it is a Honda Racing 1, 2, BMW 3, 4. And then you've got Kimchi in fifth place, being harassed already by Piper and Clements. And they're going to be nearly three abreast and out of the hairpin. Now we're into this fast right hander here. Let's ride aboard there with Piper. Let's see what line he's taking. As Kimchi runs himself off a little bit. Don't know if there was contact in the process for that to happen. If that was a push to pass, we'll have a check on a replay. See if there was contact through it this like uh, this corner here. And no, there wasn't. Just Kimchi just outbraked himself and the car understeered off wide. And that's fifth place then to Piper. Now he's got two seconds to catch up with the top four in front, which looks like the four of them. Looks like they're working together. Well, Lloyd has just broken the toll to Graham, so that could be crucial for him to break away. But Graham's just snuck back into it, but Volbright's going to have a look. As he got through, just runs a little wide, kisses the barrier on the exit, and he's lost that for a second spot. But he's got to be careful, though, because his teammate, McIntosh, is there too. Runs a little wide out the second part of the hairpin. Now McIntosh has got into third place. I think he's starting to get to grips with that BMW. He was a bit off the pace at Brands Hatch. He was getting better and better at Interlagos last week. And there he is now, sitting potentially in a podium spot as one of the, uh, I think that might be Liam New that ran a little wide there out of the, uh, the second hairpin as he's trying to carry, trying to overtake uh, Morty Kimchi for seventh spot. Yeah, we know how quick Macintosh can be, obviously, as a teammate of mine at AXR, and he's had a couple of rough seasons, but he's to grips with this BMW, hopefully, early enough in the season that he can go for some serious points. We're well, back at the back of the pack, then. You've got Sharp sitting in ninth place, Heron in 10th, National in 11th, and Leon Welsh in 12th position. No cause for concern for the, uh, the, the Williams drivers there, because they are both on the medium tyres. Meanwhile, Hugh and Lloyd is setting out nearly a second advantage there over Ethan Graham, who is now being harassed by McIntosh, who's wanting to get his best run of the season going. Let's ride right on board now with McIntosh. Uh, that tricky turn two. Looks like we're all just sort of like single file there. And Ethan runs a little wide out the first of the two hairpins. Is that going to give McIntosh an opportunity? Here goes to the outside, can't do the crisscross. Because uh, Ethan, I don't know on your screen, he looks a little laggy on mine. Yeah, he's laggy for me, a bit twitchy. So McIntosh couldn't find a way by a laggy Ethan Graham. Meanwhile, let's see if Piper is starting to catch up with uh, Volbrecht, which I think he is. He's down now to less than a second, but he has pulled away from Clements, who is on no medium tyres, but he just put a little couple of wheels on the grass there on the X. I think that might be turn seven, I think that was. And then you've got Kim Cheat in seventh for Evil, uh, Mr. New in eighth place, ninth for Sharp, and he's pulled away now from Connor Hedden, who is having a good battle there with Nashville and Welsh. It's just a shame it's not battling for like first place, but it's only for tenth place. Slipstream seems very strong down the pit straight, but then if a car has a slipstream, they've got to left for that turn one, so they lose that momentum going out of the corner. Yeah, Lloyd is completely out of his teammate's slipstream now. One second is the advantage, and uh, Ethan wanting to get his championship back on track. He's been pretty much normal in his two races at Brands Hatch and at and uh, and into Lagos. So this would be a good confidence booster then for Ethan if he can get hold on to that second place. Of course, he'd probably want to go for the win. But don't forget, though, his teammate, and uh, Ewan Lloyd, is currently sitting fourth in the points. And he's leading the way. And also with Lewis Edwards not racing. And, he, you know, Volbrecht is sitting in fourth place. And Clements in sixth. This is going to be a good points day so far for Ewan Lloyd at this rate. Yeah, the people he needs to beat are all behind him, of course. What's going to be crucial for him is can Graham catch, and if he does catch, will they fight? They've also got to consider those BMWs are still there. 
So we're going to cross the line then to start lap 6 then. Lloyd with still with the advantage. Graham second. McIntosh in third. Volbrecht in fourth. And is in the toe of his slipstream. Let's ride on board then with Tuan. Three time pole sitter this season. And he's got a great one on his teammate. And McIntosh actually going defensive here. Now, if they if they mm, well, they're battling now. They're actually battling for position. Then obviously no team all is in that camp and through into third goes Volbrecht. And I think this well, obviously it shows why he's, he's he's also set the fast lap of this race. So it could be a smart strategy there for McIntosh to let him go by and see if he can do anything to catch up with the two hundred drivers ahead. Yeah, they just need to pick one and try and work and get close to them because they absolutely can catch them if they work together. But they've been scrapping a couple of times, so. You need to pick who's quicker and let them lead. Meanwhile, there's a look then at your championship leader then, Chris Clements, driving the Mitsubishi, the old Alfa Romeo liveried car. And he's going to be under some pressure from Motti Kimchi, already a touring car winner, like I said. Chris, a two-time winner of this championship, uh, of the season so far. The only driver to win two races. We've had five different winners in the first six races. Looks like you and Lloyd is going to repeat the feat what uh, Clements has done. As we are starting the second half of this race now, still Lloyd Graham, then it is Mac uh, sorry, then it is Volbrecht, and then McIntosh in fourth, and they've really pulled away from Piper in fifth, nearly three seconds the advantage now. Yeah, Volbrecht just made a mistake against that turn two. That's like the third time now he's gone wide there. That's his crux of this race. He's had a couple of mistakes there. He was gaining. He just set the fast lap, but he's thrown away two or three tenths there. Daxi man in the chat saying, oi oi, how are you doing Daxi? Hope to hear your voice again tomorrow for the uh, MGs there. We've got Ash up in the chat there. Night Phantom, Tron's biggest fan as well. Watching this. Hopefully cheering to see his good friend there. Try and catch up with the two uh, Honda drivers first and second. Let's see if he is. He's sort of catching them a little bit. He's pulling away from his team in Macintosh though. He's still within the slipstream though. Yeah, it definitely seems the quicker of the two out of McIntosh, but it's just made a couple little mistakes that have meant McIntosh has had the chance to go and pass him. Start again of another lap then, and you can see further back in the background there, Clements put in a really defensive block on Kimchi. Kimchi looks like he's doing a bit of bump drafting, which again, as Dean says, it is fair. It, it, was, it was banned for like a couple of seasons, but they'd unbanned it, so... And again, and Kimchi. now in the. Uh, he's with the Subarus. He's in the tool. Yeah, he is in the tool there, yeah. And again, he did set the fast lap, that last lap there, by about two tenths now. He's nearly into the one tenths now, is Tuan. So he is flying in that BMW. Yeah, and for him, now that Graham's caught on to Lloyd, the Subarus could even start fighting. So I guess they, they could probably tell if Albrecht's catching, and it's now up to them or mainly up to Graham because he's the following car, how much does he want to fight? So if he fights Lloyd too hard and comes out worse, he could fall down to fourth. Through that long right hand they go yet again for the eighth time and then start lap nine. So about six laps to go then. Lloyd likes he's going defensive now. Let's ride on board then with the leader of the race. And yeah, he is going all nearly up against the pit wall. Or at least one lane up, uh, up to the pit wall. Now, what is Graham going to do? Is he going to go for the position or is he going to play the team role? No, he's actually going for it. He's going around the outside. Is this smart racing there with both drivers? Because it's going to allow Tron to be very close now to the back. And in fact, look at this. He can take two and one here. He's going for it. He's on the inside there and he's through. Yeah, this is what I meant. The Subarus could easily fight and that's one BMW through. If they keep this up, the other one could follow. Well, I don't know if that was it was right on Ethan's call there to try and make a pass there. We know Ethan has been a very good teammate if he's, he has to go back to the number two role. We've seen him do that when... Oh, Newman Lloyd takes the lead back again. But I don't know if Tron had a little bit of help there from Graham getting into the uh, the rear quad panel of his car there. But I tell you what, the top three are literally nose to tail. And McIntosh is just there to thereabouts here. As Ethan wants that second spot back. But just can't get the run just yet there now what is you you and gonna do is he gonna cold go down on the track there trying to get the two off his teammate or what i don't know here we go looks like he's actually just gonna give the inside to tron he's not really defending it no and now what's graham gonna do is he gonna hold back so he's gonna try and put his nose in so he's holding back 
Oh, but is, is, is Ewan going for the crisscross, which he's tried to do, going into turn two, I think that was, but couldn't do it. Oh, but ten sharp right, though. Can he get the lead back on Twan? Uh, he's so close. Now the double fire off the corner. Little contact through there. That's all fine. And then watch out for Ethan Graham. He just dives onto the inside, makes contact with his TB. This is going to get tense. There's four and a half laps to go, and it could be any one of these in the top four. Or even if it gets messy, they could be down God knows where in the field. Well, I tell you what, if they keep battling like that, Piper in fifth place is going to be there too because he's starting to close that gap up there. Let's ride on board then with McIntosh because he's got the best seat in the house seeing the 200 Accord drivers going at a hammer and tong. And they keep, if they keep doing like that, it's going to allow Tron to pull away. It looks like we're all single file then. Lap 11. Still Clements holding on the sixth place there. Are we ahead of uh, Kimchi? In fact, Kimchi's actually dropped back a little bit there. Then you can see Liam New, Clements' teammate, in eighth. Bit of a quiet race for him. So too is Sharp in ninth. His teammate Liam Welsh in tenth. Then Nashall going all the way nearly down the pit wall again. He sits in 11, trying to break the two away from corner head and in 12th position. But again, the top four yeah. again, literally no still. As Ethan has a look on the inside of the second airpin, and he will take the lead there. So another lead change then in a matter of a couple of laps. Yeah, I mean, that seems to be a strong part for the Subaru. The BMW is very quick off the final corner and onto the straight. So that could be, that's obviously one of the best Ooh. overtaking places. But it's going to get dicey in these last oh, few laps. Oh, the top four, they're separated by like a cigarette fag paper, literally. And Piper's thinking, just probably thinking, keep this up. I want to catch up with this lot. Looks like Ethan's running a little wide, up. wide. Yeah, Graham ran a little wide there, but may have to run off the corner. Uh, probably not. Three laps to go then. Graham, Volbrecht, Lloyd, and McIntosh. That's your top four. Piper is now 2.7 seconds drift, so he's not gaining that much on the top four ahead. Oh, as Volbrecht nearly squeezed Graham off on the pit there, on the wall there, and he's gone into the lead. Lloyd goes with him as well. Again for Volbrecht, is that exit of turn two. He's missed it as much as he's made it. He could have probably taken the lead and stormed off by now if he could make that turn. It's got to be so close there. I mean, who's going to be the unlucky one that's going to not get on the podium here because it's been a great race so far fair clean and hard racing and that's what we want to see in this championship and these four drivers are putting on a show already just look how fast these cars are volbrek nearly kissing the wall there and mcintosh is seemingly to be dropping back just a teensy bit there i still think he's there's, there's that certain amount of fear of him not trying to make an attempt of a pass or something like that to to go somewhere because uh, to me he just sits he seems to be all content just sitting there in that fourth spot yeah i've noticed that the hondas are bump drafting but the only thing is that leaves lloyd vulnerable because he's the one who loses speed oh and you can see that hit lloyd yeah yeah they in the middle of the corner there too you did see that subaru there dancing in the middle of the corner and now volbrecht and lloyd now side by side volbrecht trying to go around the outside of you and lloyd in the first of the two hairpins has he got a stick but i mean they will go to the inside which lloyd covers protectly very well and again piper is still there in that fifth place and the more time they're going to be battling side by side it's going to allow oh god mcintosh with a huge moment piper just went off just for funsies basically but it's going to allow graham to pull away now and he's pretty much nearly without within slipstream distance of this battle for second place yeah, so now Lloyd has a decision to make. It's going to be last lap. He's going to be the one with the toe down the straight. Does he help again if he has a chance, or is he going to go for himself? Now, well, we will find out time then. We will find out in one lap time then. We'll still have a look then at this battle. Run. Oh, here it comes to run then. So what's he even going to do? We start the last lap of the race. It looks like he's not defending, is he? No, he's not. He's going to give the inside then to you and Lloyd. So Lloyd will retake the lead as we start the last lap of this race. Now, I think Lloyd... Lloyd had no choice about the bump draft because Graham had such a bad exit. Oh, it was side by side at turn two. That's not going to help there because it's going to allow the BMW to catch back up again. I thought I thought Ethan there got a little got a little help there from Volbrecht. 
Looks like it wasn't, though. And now this time, McIntosh is now starting to show his cards. He's wanting to get into this battle now. He wants to not finish fourth. He wants to get higher than fourth. Look at these four. Literally nose and tail. Volbrex sideways off the second hairpin. Yeah, if, he, if that BMW Volbrex can get a good run off the final turn, there's a chance he could take one of the Subarus here because that's the BMW strength. It's that final turn. Here we go, then. We're going to have at least one more turn to go, then. It's Lloyd still leading. Graham second. It's all about that slipstream now. If you get, if Lloyd can get this turn quite well, as Ethan has just got fully sideways there, and I think that sideways moment there has pretty much gifted Dewan Lloyd his second win of the season. The flagman waving the black and white checkered flag there for Ewan Lloyd. Wins race one. His teammate second. So what I mean, what a day that is then for Honda Accord Racing there. First and second. BMWs three and four. Pipe across the light in fifth. Good from him. Clements holding on for second place in the best place of the medium tyres. Kimchi will finish seventh. We've got to wait a long time now to see for uh, Liam Newt across the line in eighth. And then we've got the two Williams drivers of Sharp and Leon Welsh there sitting ninth and tenth. But they've got those medium tyres now out of the way. Now we've got to wait another seven and a half seconds till we meet Connor Heron. And there is Roy Nashall crossing the line in twelfth. But that was an entertaining first race there, there Liam. That was uh, really good to see. Yeah, it's what you want, nose to tail racing. I mean, four cars within half a second at times. I mean, there might be a couple moves in there, you know, some defensive moves, some attempted overtakes that people might not be too pleased about, but there was nothing that terrible. It's what you get when there's four cars within half a second. It's the cars that just all lagging and all that. So you'll do the uh, confirmation then, well, unofficial results for race one, and uh, I will sort out with the points. So it's you and Lloyd with the win there. Half a second to Graham. That's probably about the furthest they were away all race. Uh, Twan Volbrecht in third place, just two tenths behind Graham. Had a chance at the end. I don't know if he got into the back of Graham or something, but McIntosh in fourth. Uh, Adam Piper in fifth, kind of in a no-man's land there. Not fast enough for the top four, but clear of Clements. And then it was Clements and Zek who held off Kimchi on uh, those super soft tyres. New in 8th place, Sharp in ninth and Welsh 10th. The two Williams Renaults coming home together. Connor Heron in 11th and Roy Nashall in 12th place with Volbrecht taking the fastest lap of 111.1, so that's an extra point for him. Well, with that extra point then for Volbrecht is, is really made the championship extremely, extremely close there. Chris, Chris Clement still leads the way. He's now on 102 points. Ewan Lloyd with his second win of the season is now second on 100 points Volbrecht is on 99 so there's only three points separating the top three as we go into race two this is this is going to be some this is going to be some season it's going it's going to be down basically to these three drivers because I think Lewis Edwards is now I, I don't think if Edwards can catch up here but with the amount of the I, I don't know well, I, I don't know. I don't know about Lewis Edwards because I know he's no showing tonight. But I mean, that's what cost him a championship last season because he missed a couple of mm -hmm. races. Yeah, it's uh, not ideal for Edwards. But I mean, yeah, very close to the top there. But the important thing for Clements is he's now used those medium tyres, whereas Lloyd and Volbrecht haven't. Yeah. So that's advantage him, providing he has good races on his super softs and doesn't get involved in any crashes or skirmishes. Yeah, the only problem is he's, he's going to be starting on the outside row, is it? He's going to be on the outside of the third row, and he's going to be alongside Piper. We know how Piper can defend his life for, for like, any positions, literally whatsoever. Well, he's <laughs> infuriating to race against. Many a drivers have shouted at him for it. When and he's yeah, entitled to, it's very yeah, annoying, but he's yeah, entitled to. He if is. he wants to defend his life for ninth place, he can do so. He can defend his life for 13th place as well. L literally. Oh, he, he would. He, he would fight a car lapping him. Mm-hmm. He would. That's that's like no joke. So I'm yeah, still... No, I'm, I'm not even kidding. Yeah. <laughs> he probably has done it at some point. Uh, just seeing where Liam knew. Okay, so... Sort of nearly done with the points here. Connor Heron, 11th. That is four points for him. Right, so that's the points now all done. So, Ethan with that strong second place finish, he's now moves up into fifth in the championship on 78. And uh, he is ahead of Adam Piper now on 72. 
interesting to know, out of those top four, currently, unless anyone changes, Macintosh is the only one that's going to be on the super soft tyres. Lloyd, Volbright and Graham are all on the mediums this race, so we could have maybe Macintosh versus Clements for the win here. But you know what Macintosh's strategy is like when it comes to medium tyres, he always goes race one, round one, race one, round two, race two, round three, race two, round four for the mediums, isn't it? It's always been mediums, race one, round one, race one, round two, yeah. race one. So I, I don't know if he's still going to be with the same strategy or is he actually, you know, going for it? Looks like he, um, he's currently on the super softs. Whether he changes is another thing, but maybe he's changing out. Maybe he thinks, all right, they're on mediums. Like is he still he can go in the pits? Soft and maybe win. He is okay. still in the pits, yeah, so he could change. All right, let's have a look then for the field then. So Ethan's going to be on mediums. And uh, where is he? Uh, that will be the second of his medium tyres in race two. So that means he's got no more mediums to use in race two now. His teammate, Ewan, is going to be using the first of his medium tyres. So he's got one set of mediums left to his name. L uh, Liam New used a set of mediums in the first race. So he can go super softs the rest of the way. Looks like Volbrecht is going to go on mediums in, in race two. Uh, Sharp, he used mediums in race one, so he's good to go. So too is Leon Welsh. Nashville still on the super soft, so that means he will go on to mediums for race three, which will be, he's got one set of mediums left in, in, in race three. McIntosh, we're still seeing him on the softs. Uh, what's Kimchi on? Kimchi on softs. Connor Heron. Connor Heron race mediums? I forget now. Yes, he, he did. did yes. yes, he did. So he's 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 all right then. What about Piper? Piper's on the super softs. Um, well, we still don't know about with uh, Kimchi and um, and um, Macintosh. That's the word I was looking for. So this is going to be interesting then. So you've got the top three starting on the mediums, and then you've got potentially Macintosh sitting fourth. Maybe on the super softs, maybe on the mediums, and um, it's going to be interesting to see what uh, Clements can do now that he's now on to the super soft tyres, starting sixth on the grid. He's got a little bit of work to do, though. Yeah, if McIntosh does start in the supers, a lot of it might come down to how quickly they can get past those front three. So if someone gets past them and they take the next car two laps, you could have a five second lead by then. Oh, definitely. Yeah, for sure. Let's have a look. Let's see what the chat are saying then. Oh, Shadow is saying, what is the point table per race? So at the moment, as it stands, Clements is on 102, Lloyd is on 100, and you're sitting in third with 99. So you're only three points behind the leader, uh, Tuan. So it is very, very close. And I tell you what, we've not seen a closer championship like this since season 14, I want to say, actually. Um, when, it, when it was Clements and Edwards for the title. Yeah, that one was very cool. So it was that one yeah. point between them going into the final race. Yeah, that was. Round. Yeah. And now coming into this race, you've got three drivers separated by three points. Yeah, and then, I mean, obviously Graham could get himself into that and a couple others could as well. So it could be four cars by the end. We could have welded it down to two. Someone could end up running off with it, but hopefully. Oh, oh. We contact there sorry they cut you off there but there was uh, there was a big crash there what happened with uh, Liam New he lost control of his car and uh, nowhere to go for Sharp to go into him either he lost control or he's playing around with a handbrake and you know what these lot are like now well, Sharp is starting the final and it looks like to me that McIntosh is going to use super soft so this could be very good then between Clements and McIntosh so let's Let's see how this will, uh, second race will pans out then. So this is race two of three of the night. And it's basically the results from race one. So it'll be Ewan Lloyd, then Graham. Volbrecht, then McIntosh. Piper, then Clements. Kimchi, New, Sharp, Welsh, Heron and Nashville. That's your lot. We're going to be quite intrigued to see who gets off the line better than the BMWs. If it will be Volbrecht or McIntosh. We'll, we'll find out though anyways. As the lights are on, and we are lights out, and away we go. Good start, actually, there for Lew Lewin Lloyd there from the front row. And uh, Graham slots in behind his teammate as they will go into the bike corner then for the first time. Clements looks like he's already gained the spot on Piper. That would be good to see. 
for, well, especially for Clements' point of view, getting by Piper. Although Piper wants that fifth spot back there, but again, the top four sort of nearly pulled away there. Look at Piper, he's having a look on the inside of Ted too. Oh. There was a bit of contact. Liam New also went off there, nearly hit the styrofoam uh, marker for the barrier, for, well, well, for the breaking point there. But meanwhile, it looks like Tron has gone back into the lead now. Yeah, it was a little bit naughty from Volbrex. He's hit Lloyd up the back and then taken the place. Oh, so pushed the pass there. Who's that gone off there? That's yeah. Nashal. Nashal's just had the moment there out at the end of the second airpin. That's unfortunate. Let's see what happened to him. Let's ride on board with him. As uh, there was new. And uh, he's side by side oh. with Kimchi. Oh, we'll, we'll see what happened. We'll just see. Piper had a half spin, but he's held it. Oh, he had a bit of a help there. Who could that be? Was that Sharp? That might have been Sharp that uh, helped their national off there. And indeed, yeah, it was Sharp there because he's conceded and all that. But anyway, let's see what's happening back out front there. There's some bump drafting going on. Ewan Lloyd and Tron and McIntosh is in third. Piper in fourth. Graham is down to fifth after running very wide out of the second hairpin. Now they're going to go three abreast nearly into turn one. And uh, Volbrecht, they're giving a wide berth to McIntosh to go through and wants to lead and said more contact, oh. I think. And Lloyd has gone off as a result of that. Now they're three abreast for P3. Piper's into the mix. Look at Clements there trying to make it four abreast. It's an absolute mess into the first hairpin. Yeah, that's both laps now. Volbrecht hit Lloyd up the back. And I think Lloyd lost a lot more this time around. Yeah, he's down to fifth place as that, as that result there. So now it's McIntosh in the lead. Piper in second. Volbrecht in third. Then it is Graham in fourth. Clements in fifth. And now Ewan Lloyd went from first to sixth after that little incident. Look at Connor Head and he's looking quite racy in seventh place. Yeah, I don't think Lloyd will be too pleased with those two hits up the back. But Clements has been the one that's failed to make it through, so... If he can't pass these a lot quickly, it could be Piper and McIntosh that are several seconds up the road and uncatchable. And is Piper on the mediums too? No, he's on the supers. Oh, he's, he's on the supers. Well, I mean, Clements still has a bit of time though. I mean, we are still on lap 3 out of 14, but he has to get by Volbrecht and Graham because they are on the slower tyres. So we'll see, we'll see what Clements can do into the first corner. Absolutely flat out. Maybe a little left there because he's in the turbulent air and he's trying to go around the outside oh. of Graham. That was quite audacious, and Volbrecht goes off yet again at turn two. That must be about the 79th time he's been off there. Yeah, he's having issues there, whether it's going wide or heading into the back of people. He doesn't seem to like it. He's not a fan of that corner. Meanwhile, now, he's on the outside of Ethan. Meanwhile, Kimchi has gone by now up into P6. And then you can see also in the background there too, that is, who's that down the ninth place? Well, that's you and Lloyd, he's down the ninth. But also, yeah, don't forget though, he is on the medium tie, so he will fall down like a rock. And still you got there Sharp and Nashal, 11th and 12th. But obviously Sharp had to give that spot back up there for Nashal's incident in the opening lap. Yeah, Lloyd's just, ever since he's had that hit which put him down, it's sort of just snowballing. Of course, he's losing on the people he wants to be with, which is... Uh, Volbrecht and Graham, but it might mean he starts towards the front next race on some super softs. Meanwhile, Connor Hedden has now put his Valvoline forward up into sick position as uh, Ethan Graham kisses the barrier on the start like start finish street. And I think Clements is going to get two positions in one here as Volbrecht tries to slam the door in Clements' face. He was legitimately lo alongside him there. So, and up into third place now goes Clements, and now always oh, as uh, Kimchi smashes the wall off of t the second corner. But uh, he's lost that spot there to Liam New. I don't know if there was any contact involved, though. I'm not sure. We'll have a look at a replay. Three seconds, three seconds to make up on the leaders. Here we go. Here's a replay. Did Liam New get into the back of him? Um, yeah, sort of. Looked like he just harried him. I'll tell you what, 6th, 7th and 8th are very close together there. Graham, Connor, and Liam... Oh god, Liam and, and, and Ethan yet again. <laughs> oh, Graham hit the wall though. Yeah, Graham hit the wall. Second time this lap he's done that. And Liam trying to go on the inside of his former teammate. And actually, believe it or not, that was a clean pass. Yeah, in fact, Lloyd's actually starting to gain back towards Graham. I think courtesy of Graham's taps with the wall and Lloyd just sort of having a clean lap. 
That five then, and there goes then McIntosh versus Piper for the lead. As the, but there was a little bump there off of turn two from Piper, but it looks like he backed out of it there. What's the gap then for Clements, who's back there? 2.8 seconds now as Volbrecht's gone off turn two yet again. Yeah, Heron Liam, did as well, and has put New up to fifth. Yeah, Liam New having a good race now up into fifth place, and they're now hunting down Volbrecht in fourth. So this will be a good showing here for the Alfa Romeos now, sitting currently third and fifth there, as Liam is a bit feisty on the back of Tuan. Yeah, he'll be brave to try and move here. It's probably best waiting for the straight. I don't know what the BMW and Mitsubishi are like uh, straight line speed-wise. The BMW looked pretty quick in race one. Meanwhile, there was an absolute mess though behind Liam there, because you've got Heron, Graham, Leon Welsh is in the mix now there, and the uh, the blue and yellow car. Now, has is is Liam New got made to pass through? Yes, indeed he has. But then there's the old switcheroo, and Tron goes back through. A little bit Ooh. feisty, but he's gone through. Yeah. I don't know if that was just misjudged or a bit of understeer on the exit, but he's uh, but giving New a bit of hip and shoulder. Oh, I think New put a little bit of a block then on Connor. Connor had the run, and I just saw Liam sort of turned a little bit up to the left there to try and block that run from Connor. Piper's through. This is what Clements needs. They're fighting. Yep, he is through. So up into the lead now goes Piper. I think that's the first time this season that Piper has uh, seen first place. New's got Volbrecht as well. He's, he's up to fourth. It wouldn't surprise me if Volbrecht went off turn two yet again, but this is a, a tremendous battle for fourth place. Look at the amount of cars that's there. You've got New, Volbrecht, uh, Heron, Leon Welsh now up into seventh. Uh, then you've got um, Ethan Graham in eighth, Kimchi and Ewan Lloyd. So that is, what, six, seven cars maybe? Yeah, and Lloyd's actually done quite well. He's getting back towards Graham and Volbrecht, I guess, because... He's sticking with these cars, and they're all getting through Volbrecht and Graham as they're on the medium tyres. So he's actually back in contention to beat these guys. So I'll try to find different lines through the last corner then to start yet another lap. So this will be lap 7 out of 14, so 8 more laps to go. Meanwhile, it looks like they're free abreast knit up at the front, looking at that camera angle. And McIntosh is wanting that lead spot back. And look at Clements, he's already in the toe oh! now. He was about 2 seconds quicker. Piper just clipped the inside wall of turn two, and now, yeah, Clements, look at that, he set the fastest lap of the race as well, a 1.11.0, which was faster than what Volbrecht did in race one. Yeah, and he had no toe, I'm pretty sure Volbrecht had a good toe, because he was buying Macintosh when he did the 11.0, so that's a very good lap from Clements. And Clements has already had, I believe, three fastest laps so far this season, so he's got three extra championship points. As Piper slams the door in McIntosh's face there, going into that fast left-hander. Which, uh, you know, McIntosh had to check up as well as Clements, but Clements looks like he's got a size of a pass here to try and get by McIntosh and Piper. And it's going to be at this corner right here. Will he get the run? No, off the corner and then onto the bank left right there. Oh, God, what well, Piper's going a different line, and it looks like Clements is going to choose the line to help Ben McIntosh. Yeah, he's going to maybe try going in the middle, although Piper's come up. Is he going to make it three wide? Oh, he's going to make it three abreast into the bank, uh, right hand to turn one. Three abreast, BMW on the outside, Master in the middle, Mitsubishi on the inside, and it looks like Clements kind of backed off a bit there. That was a good job by them to keep it clean. It would have been so easy for one of the cars on the inside to work its way up and cause a big crash and Clements is now up into second place he's passed there uh, McIntosh and now can he get by his former teammate that he suffered for two years Adam pa uh, two seasons sorry Mr Piper meanwhile you and no, Lloyd is up to seventh place yeah, and there's contact with Kimchi progress he is and Leon Welsh is down to tenth we did see him up at seventh not too long ago so there must have been some activity going on back here And now Graham is back through, so he's up to 8th place, puts Kimchi down to ninth, and it looks like there is a little bit of a separation with uh, Liam New now in 6th, and uh, to, to Ewan Lloyd now in 7th place. But, I mean, this is a good effort, this, actually, from Connor Heron. Finished 11th in race 1, he's up to 5th. He's really moved up through the field. Yeah, and, uh, of course, Volbrecht's on the medium, so he's there for the taking for Heron. As the leaders are at it again. we go then let's see what what is uh clemens gonna do he's gonna try and find a way by uh, piper there 
Not unless. I think the only way to maybe force a mistake though from Piper, which Piper goes defensive into the first of the two hairpins and again gets off the line get, gets off the corner very very well now they're side by side nearly and that's going to allow Makatosh an opportunity to retake second place and he does puts a squeal of tire like, well, bit of tire uh, marks on the, the hairpin but will Clements hold on to that second place and he does because he got the toe off Piper yeah that's not very Makatosh he's normally the old patient waits for all to unfold to see him stick and I know Zen is not usual for him, but it's nice to see he's getting stuck in. And Clements, uh, Clements' teammate Liam Newton has now got into fourth position. Volbrecht now is down to sixth. I'm probably presuming he made that another mistake out of turn two. As we're still looking then at Leon Welsh. Let's ride the board with Leon. Gives uh, Motti Kimchi a little bit of a tap on the backside. And they're going to start yet another lap then. So on to lap number 10. Meanwhile, there's some activity going up forwards. And Clements is into the lead of the race now. Piper's going to hang around the outside. McIntosh is going to help Clements into the lead. Oh, it's, it looks like Piper nearly leaned on Clements there. Going into what's turn two. Now is Clements, will he, will he show, close the door on his former teammate's face? Yes, indeed he does. But will Piper get the spot back? Or is Clements going to protect the lead? Yes, he does. He's just protecting the lead the now. But I don't feel this battle is over, though, between these three with about five laps to go. Yeah, there's been some contact up, but the hairpins look like New has somehow fallen behind Volbrecht, and then Volbrecht hit into the back of Heron, and his Heron's almost gone into the outside wall, but it seems like they've started themselves. In fact, Lloyd is now right on the back of New. If he can follow New, he can just drag himself to Volbrecht and maybe finish as the best medium runner. Uh, yeah, that's true, yeah. Yeah, because Volbrecht is sitting fifth at the moment, and he's all over the back of corner Heron. Yeah, Heron's uh, obviously quicker. He's got a seven-tenth quicker, fastest lap, but that BMW looks very quick in a straight line. Josh Rossi, let's go woo-woo. Yeah, so Ewan, you got some fans there watching you now, Ewan. Let's ride on board then with Ewan. The race one winner as Tron goes back up into fourth. Still no change though in the top three. Still Clements leading, Piper second, McIntosh in third. But this is this is a tremendous battle for fourth place. And it is between Volbrecht on the mediums, heading on the softs, Liam New on the softs. Look at the run he had there out of the first half. But he's going to go in the inside the corner heading and retakes fifth place. Yeah, and Lloyd is with them. He could sneak a fourth place out of this if these lot get together or fight too hard. And a fourth place on the medium tyres ahead of your rivals would be a solid result. Uh, definitely and again he's got under no pressure whatsoever because there I just noticed there too that that uh, Leon Welsh definitely a best for a for Avon back there which is still led by Ethan Graham but uh, Leon Welsh had a bit of a run and uh, well had a little chance there to sneak up into a place and there was more contact right there with Kimchi and Leon Welsh that's not the first time to be contact so far in this race and again oh look at them look at them all trying to get into line trying to get into the tool this is like NASCAR style. You go to the outside, I'll give you the run. Insane battle for fourth place. It's just a shame it's not a battle for the lead. Though there's still a battle for the lead. <laughs> These three are still oh, going yeah. at it. Hammer yeah. tongs. Oh yeah, they are definitely. And again, Piper tried to show his face on Clements. But again, Clements was far too uh, experienced to block the pass there. And now there's a little bit of a gap developing. Six tenths now between himself to Piper. And then McIntosh still in third place. But yeah, this is this is really the best we've seen Joker perform in terms of... He's, he's showing that bit of aggression in him, which we hadn't seen before. No, I've done many races with and against him. And he's, he's not that type of person. He will sit behind, maybe make a move if it's very likely and just sort of pick up the pieces. But he's, he's getting his elbows out here. He wants this win. Now it's about time too because he had a very solid last season, well the last race of the season because he went, he really leapfrogged up through the order to finish third in the championship with those two wins and I thought he could be a, he could be a threat here but he started off the season quite boringly but he's, he is getting better and better as the season goes on Yeah, Lloyd's passed Volbrecht, Volbrecht got into the back of New which held him up out the final turn and Kimchi, oh, did, did Piper get into the back of Clements? There must have been a little contact, but I don't know if McIntosh did a little, uh, little bit of contact on Piper, 
which led to Piper going into the back there. And now there's contact. The rear kicks out for McIntosh. Oh, Fisty Cuffs are going to come out here with one lap to go this time. Uh, next time, bye. Look at this battle, though, now for fifth place now, because it looks like Connor Hedden is kind of pulled away from this insane battle now. Yeah, I think Lloyd might not be too happy. He's constantly getting hit out of the back from Volbrecht and sort of just sort of making a mess apex. He's getting to the power late, so he's probably not <laughs> pleased, but it's bringing Kimchi and Graham in. I tell you what, look at the back end of Ewan's bat uh, Honda, well, Subaru. It is, there's just scratch marks all over the car at the back. I think those are all by Volbrecht, either on <laughs> lap one and two or just the last lap. <laughs> but they've made contact a lot. So here we go, then one more lap to go, then Volbrecht sitting in seventh. He's got Ewan Lloyd just ahead in sixth, Kimchi in eighth, Graham in ninth. And then Liam Welsh in 10th place. And we still got Ash Sharp in 11th, I think. Yep. And Nashville sitting in 12th place. But as it stands right now, it'll be Nashville that will start on the pole for race three. And Sharp will start second in the final race of the night. As there are more positions being changed there, that might be Volbrecht maybe losing another spot to Kimchi, which indeed he has. Yeah, and the Ad Piper really wants this win. He tried to go round... Uh the outside of Clements in turn three, but he's not really going to get much more of a chance unless he gets a good run out the final turn. Yeah, well, there's only about two more corners to go. This is it right here. He's got to get a great run out of here. You can see he's sizing it up there. He's in an awful lot of cab there. Has a great run, though. Is it going to be a do or die pass? But he's trying to. He's trying to force the issue. Tries to make contact with him, but no, I don't think it's enough, though. And if he holds on, if he can go to the bottom of the racetrack, I think Clements will hold on to get his third win of the season. Clements wins. Oh, Piper oh second. No. McIntosh in third. But what's happened to fourth place? What's happened to Kimchi? Volbrecht shoved his nose in and he's hit Lloyd into Kimchi. That's not going to be very... That's going to be frowned upon. Well, here's a replay. Let's have a look. This is the last corner. Yeah, that was a bit forceful. Yeah, that was very forceful on, on, on Tron's part there. So, Stewards will be looking at that to say, you know, was that a legitimate pass or was that a legitimate bump? Yeah, I don't think it would be very fondly looked upon. And there you can see all the confirmation result. There's Sharp and National crosses the line there. But the Clements there getting his third win of the season and also set yet another fast slap. That's his fourth fast slap of the season. And uh, Clements, uh, well, he's definitely enjoying it. He's going to uh, just about extend the championship lead. So we'll put on the uh, the unofficial race results then. And uh, we will let uh, Liam do the confirmation. Or, well, unclassified results from round number eight of the championship. Clements uh, took his win there, holding off Piper and McIntosh, who were pretty much the three fighting them all the way ever since Clements got there. Heron taking fourth place, breaking away from that crazy battle behind uh, New Feth. Uh, Volbrecht took sixth, but I think that final corner move and a couple other things might be a little frowned upon. Uh, Welsh seventh. Graham in eighth. Lloyd, the big loser out of that final corner, down in ninth. Uh, Kemchi takes uh, tenth place. Sharp in eleventh after it looked like a lap one altercation and. Nashal in 12th with Clements taking the fastest lap of a 1.11.0, the fastest lap we've seen today. And uh, as the championship looks now then, unprovisionally with, as you said, with Volbrecht's incident there, Clements now has a pretty much sizable gap of 14 points he has now. But obviously he's going to be starting at the very back of the field now with, for race three. He does sit on 123 points. Volbrecht now on 109. Ewan Lloyd on 107. Adam Piper's now gone back up. He's now fourth in the championship on 89. Lewis Edwards, as we get no show tonight, still sits on 87. And Ethan Graham is now on 86. So it's quite close between the top three. But very close for fourth, fifth and sixth. Only three points separating those three drivers. Yeah, it's uh, getting close. It's race three is going to be a big decider. Of course, you're going to have Lloyd Graham on Super Softs, as long with Volbrecht. Sharp's going to be on the front row with Super Softs. I think Macintosh is going to be at the back with the mediums, as will Piper. So they're going to have a difficult time of it. 
Actually, give a shout out as well to McIntosh too. With that, with, with those two great runs, he's actually he's, he's really gone up in the points now. I think he is, I believe he's now eighth in the points now on 60, 62 points. He's now just got a point ahead of Kimchi in the uh, the Mazda. So, yep, race three always causes up quite a stir. And there is Piper looking there, second place. He's had a good, he's, he's actually had a very good out in here. Fifth in race one, a second in race two. He's going to be starting 11th on the grid on the slower tyres. You know. Clements is going to start dead last, but he's on the faster tyre than Piper. I'm going to be quite intrigued to see what Clements can do starting at the back of the pack now. Well, he showed a very, very quick lap in that race with no slipstream, so... Again, it's going to be a lot down to traffic management. How much can he pass the cars on mediums or the slower cars that are going to be the main obstacles? Of course, when you have the likes of Lloyd and Graham and... Volbrecht starting about five, six, seven places ahead of them. It'll be a challenge. So as far as I know, it's only going to be three people that's going to be starting on the medium tyres. That is Piper, Kimchi, and Macintosh, I believe. Maybe Nashville, actually. I don't think Nashville. Yeah, I think Nashville's going to be on the medium too. Yeah, my bad. So four drivers. So Piper, Nashville, Kimchi, and uh, Macintosh. Are going to be on the medium tyres for this third race, but uh, Nashville, he's going to start on the pole, and Sharp will start second. So we should see Sharp go into the leader race, and Sharp he's had a bit of a. There he is. They're sitting in there. Well, he's still in the pit lane, but uh, Sharp's been there. Uh, he's not had the the run of luck, so to say. This race, it's just, it's the same. It's it's the same form that he carried last week into Lagos, unfortunately. But uh, hopefully, this race will turn around for him. So we're just about getting ready then for the final race of the night. It's been some entertaining racing all throughout there. It's been thoroughly enjoyable racing to say the least. And what about you and Lloyd? Finished ninth in race one. So he's going to be starting further ahead. I think he might be starting, I believe that could be fourth on the grid. And with Kimchi, uh, sorry, not Kimchi, with... Um, Volbrecht finishing 6th in race 2, which make him start 7th, I think. Yeah, it's, I'm, I'm still quite intrigued to see what Clements could do starting dead last in the grid. Liam New had a thoroughly exciting race too. They're battling with the likes of a load of drivers, to say the least. And Conor yeah, Hennon had a... Uh, oh, go on. News going to be towards the front this race as well. Or... He's going to be sort of lower midfield, but that's a good position considering where Clement is. He's going to be with the likes of just behind Lloyd, Graham, those type of people who he wants to be fighting. And also a good shout out as well, as well, like I said, to Connor Hedden. You know, started 11th in race two, got a got a fifth place finish out of that. He'll be uh, hopefully carrying some confidence there. He's not at the best start of the season, Connor. Has missed the race or so uh, in in this championship we did see him up at the front last season when he was driving the Renault but uh, obviously getting to grips from driving the Renault to a Mazda has been a little bit of a, of a problem so far for Corner but I think he's just getting into the swing of things just the same as uh, McIntosh with the BMW yeah it's surprising that it's taking adapting time to the saloon cars normally they're easy to jump in and do your lap times it's normally the front wheel drives that take time to adapt and learning whereas Connor was put in a front wheel drive and was instantly quick, so <laughs> it's very backwards to me. <laughs> and since Lewis Edmonds is not racing today and he's got four sets of tyres on him, which tyres are you going to take off him? He's got one set of mediums in race one, two sets of mediums in race two, and one set of mediums in race three. Hmm. Let's take away a race two set. Right, a race two set there. And also, we are looking for another driver in this championship because Martin Kokoran has pulled out of the championship. So we are looking for another driver who, if, if you know, if you're more than capable to, to race with these guys here, if you're more than crazy enough to race with these guys, drivers, 
you know, set yourself up and uh, we'll hopefully put you in the car and you'll be you'll be teammates with the free time champion, Lewis Edwards, if he shows up again next week, which I hope he does. Just just the weeks that he's not playing Soggy Biscuit and purposely losing. <laughs> So just looking then at McIntosh, and he's had a very solid outing, his uh, McIntosh. I think two podium finishes to his name. Uh, it was fourth in race one. No. Oh, sorry, yeah, fourth he in race one. He was the one who yeah. just lost out. Yeah. Nashville, oh, Nashville just drove into to Mac. Well, I don't know what now Nashville's doing now. Well, that was uh, in intriguing there from Nashville. But I tell you what, this is, this is what McIntosh actually needed. Like I said, started off the season quite quietly. But, you know, he's getting better and better. Fourth in race one, third in race two. You know, it'd be, it'd, be, it'd be interesting to see what he'll do starting at the back of the field on the slower set of mediums. And with all the racing that's been happening, he could probably might get, like, a, a decent finish out of this. Yeah, it's easy on a set of mediums if fight in and crash an instant to pick up an upper midfield finish on them. So here we go then, the last race of the night, and it is a reverse grid order from race two results. So that will mean that Nashal will start on the pool. Sharp second, Kimchi in third, Ethan Graham on fourth. Oh sorry, you and Lloyd, sorry, in fourth. Then Ethan Graham fifth. Then it's Welsh, Volbrecht, New, Heron, McIntosh, Piper, and Clements. Again, quite intrigued to see what Clements can do starting in the back of the field. Now that he is on the faster tire. 14 more laps around this racetrack which has served some fantastic racing tonight hope you've enjoyed the coverage on the FTR YouTube channel and on the Facebook channel as well lights out and away we go what a staff there from you and Lloyd that Subaru absolutely blitzed off the line he's going to be leading before going into turn one what a star that was there from Woo Woo yeah incredible star Ethan's had a little lag offline hopefully that sorts itself yeah, great start for Lloyd. He set him, put himself in a good position to go, try and win this race. Connor had an already back at the field there, so Connor made an absolutely appalling start there. But Lloyd already shot out to nearly a second advantage there as the mess. As they go oh. to the airbend, and out goes Welsh. Welsh just got tagged there. I don't know who was that from. There's a look at a replay. So let's try on board. Wide. So they're going into a turn two. Three abreast then. Volbrecht gets into Kimchi. Now, who was the culprit here? Yeah, they, they are for the breast there. Oh, they all just like squashed together, really. I guess it just depends. Did Volbrecht hit Kimchi or did Kimchi hit Volbrecht? It's just what every one of those that you need multiple angles from the shoes. Well, that's not good there from Leon, who has had a pretty decent two races there. Such a shame to see him there have a problem like that on the opening lap but look at you and Lloyd go there to nearly a 1.1 second advantage over look, Sharp in second look at Clements but Clements is up to fourth position from 12th on the grid I just spotted him there in fourth he's now in a position to potentially win this race Wow, unbelievable. And he's got Liam New behind him, which we all know Liam is a very good teammate and will hold up anyone that's behind him. Sharp running a little wider out of town too. Is that going to give Graham an opportunity to go by? No, it doesn't. Graham again looking a little bit laggy there. Hopefully he didn't get into the back of Sharp. Well, he did that. Now they're side by side. Now what? I'm, I'm just amazed that by Clemens there. One lap from 12th to 4th position and he wants second. Oh, this is, this is a good thing to see here because... Graham, we know, is a bit of a hard racer. Sharp is... Sharp can have his great races here and there. And is that a position change there? Is that P3 it now? Is. Or was Ethan... Ethan, yeah. Past lot, Graham. What a start then. So in two laps then, he could potentially get second place. And on the start finish race, the cars bobble onto the flat part of the track and then onto the banked circuit yet again to start yet another lap. And again, Clements there. 1.6 seconds he has over this battle for four, for second place that's just led by Sharp, then Clements, then Graham, and then Liam New actually setting the fast lap of the race. Yeah, this is why we love Blue Moon. You get incredible racing here. Here comes Clements sent to the inside of Sharp, and that is P2 now. 
It'll be interesting to see if he can do a back of the pack to a win. I think the last time we seen that was Nicholas Carl when he won his championship in season nine. I think he did that on a couple of occasions. I think that was genuinely the last time someone won the race from starting at the back of the pack. And he's got plenty of time to do it. Yeah, he's already up seconds and Lloyd's not massively far away. It's two seconds. We saw how quick Clements was last race. And even though uh, Leo Mills just went off there at the first lap there, he's just set the fast lap of the race there as well. But Piper also, I mean, Piper finished second in race two, started 11th. Oh, Kimchi's left the room, unfortunately. I hope that's not a, uh, a lag issue or if it was just down to sheer frustration there. But unfortunate there for Kimchi to uh, leave the session. So we're down to 11 races now. Nashville carrying the flag for Team Toyota. Caught a heading in ninth place who had a, an absolutely dreadful start because we've seen him going into last place before going into turn one. And there's Leon Welsh there. Volpec now set the fast lap, is sitting in sixth place, and he's all over the back of Liam New, and we know how hard of a racer Liam New is. He's not really the cleanest of drivers, but you're going to have to follow. Well, there you go. There's, con there's some contact there. And he's still leading on Volpec. Oh, is he going to get two places in one here? No. Graham into third. And again, Liam New and Sharp side by side. They've had their battles in the past. Particularly in Kyoto, which really frustrated Sharp because he had a, a really good run going before Liam New uh, shuts, uh, slammed him off. Yeah, I think New's attacking Sharp just as much to stop Volbrecht trying to get down his inside. Oh, I'll tell you what, Sharp's not giving up about a fight though. Fair play, Ash. And Volbeck trying to find some clean air to try and get by the two Mitsubishi races, but not finding anywhere. Oh, Sharp may have just the hit the wall. There. Yeah, he got a nudge from Volbeck. It seems to be doing that a lot today, just nudging people, pushing them wide, it's and like just a, taking the place. It's Yeah, I mean, I know push to pass is a little bit aggressive there, so Volbeck needs to be careful here. And again, nearly door handling on the straightaway here. And look at the run that Sharp's getting now. Three abreast there. Oh, oh no, Heron Piper. Well. Heron? No, that's Piper. Piper's oh, going to go Sorry. Piper's yeah. gonna go four abreast. And he's on the medium tyre, so they do not want him oh. involved. Now they go three abreast there. Sharp now goes back up into fourth. It's going to be carnage here at turn two. Volbrecht backed out of it there quite wisely to do that as well. And look at Piper now. He started 11th on the grid. He's up to P5. Just exactly the same as head and didn't race two. Yeah, he's kind of just sort of nerfed new... Oh, new. Very forceful on Volbrecht there. He sort of hit the throttle mid-corner and sort of shoved his nose in. It's put Volbrecht onto the grass. Yeah, so hopefully that's not going to lose a lot of momentum there for, for Volbrecht there. Even though Conor Heron is like three and a half seconds back. But meanwhile, back up front, Clements set the fast slap there at 111.062. And he is hunting down the Subaru driver. Look at him. We did see it up to about a two-second advantage. He's gained a second alone in the last couple of laps. Yeah, that, that, I think that's basically the exact same lap time he set in race two, but my, minus or plus a couple thousands. Yeah, pretty I mean, much. Talk about consistency. But that Subaru does have some good straight line speed there. He gained at least nearly two temps on uh, Clements alone on that straightaway. Yeah, and Piper's now ahead of New, so he's really getting involved with these people who are trying to think. Maybe if some drama's up ahead, we could get a podium. But all oh, news hit the inside wall at turn two there. No yeah, damage, so he's gotten away with it. A couple of drivers have done that. I think Piper did that in race one. And uh, Sharp having a good race here. He's had a relatively quiet two races there. You know, finished 11th in race two because of the contact with Nashville and slowed down to let Nashville go by, which was fair of Ash to do. But, you know, it's good to see Ash back up at the front, back where he belongs. Yeah, I don't think there's anyone on the grid who doesn't like seeing Ash get a podium. He's a, a favourite in the paddock. And he's, he's holding on right now. He's got, obviously, Piper on the medium, so you can almost act as a bit of a block, because he's got nothing to lose. He's going to fight for his life against New and uh, Volbrecht, despite being on tyres that are about a second a lap slower. Look at that, four different manufacturers there. Four, fifth, sixth and seventh. Yeah, Ash Clements has gone even faster, and then Volbrecht beat it, but he did have a toll. Yeah, he did. In fact, Volbrecht has gone by Liam New in the process, so he's back up into that sick position, but I don't think Liam New will be too happy with that. Let's ride the board with Liam as Ash kisses the wall off of turn one, and running wide, there goes Piper. 
and uh, Liam trying to thread the eye of the needle between Volbrecht and Piper now. But uh, he's only got yeah. one position out of that. Yeah, I'm sure Volbrecht doesn't care that he had a slip from this lap. It's a point for him, a point away from Clements. And don't forget, though, Clements already had like a 14 point advantage over Ewan Lloyd, who's still leading the way. So that gap will just dis uh, disintegrate just a teensy amount there. It's Volbrecht really hot there going into the sharp there. I think Clements is about to take fastest lap back. He's got a toe on the straight this time. He was already two tenths up. Oh, here we go, then. This will probably see him going to the 110s here. We ain't seen he's times in the 110. The nah, he's in it. He's, he's just, just slightly it. in it. He's just slightly in it. We've and he goes fast as it by 17 thousandths of a second. He creeped into it at the last moment. Now, I think Sharp. A slightly better exit, and he would have had a 10. Sharp's down to 7. What's happened here? Ooh, now did Sharp turn in on Volbrecht? I think I want to say he did. But I might be wrong on that. I want to see another replay. I want to see from Piper's view. Oh, I don't know. Volbrecht left that wide open on the inside. Hmm. Interesting there. Oh, in fact, news gone off. News went off at the first of the happens. So what's happened here then? So let's see. Out of turn two. Kisses the wall quite hard. Tries to put a block on Piper, mistimed his breaking point, and off he goes. Mm, that was a bit interesting there for Liam New to do that, though. Now he's actually falling yeah, into just... the clutches. And I tell you what, fair play to Liam Welsh. He's flying after the incident on the first lap. He's up to eight place and hunting down Liam. Yeah, and only basically all but one of his laps have been in the one minute 11. So, you know, had he not had that issue with, you know, uh, Kim G. Volbrecht, whoever else was on the right when he was four abreast. Who knows? He could have been up with, you know, the likes of Volbrecht and Piper since they've all been fighting. And like I said, Leon has had a pretty decent outing uh, at Blue Moon tonight. He really has. Yeah, and he's just at his best lap on 11.6. Ah, there's the 10 from Clements. He must have got a better run out of the final turn, 10.8. And, yeah, and he is all over the back of Ewan Lloyd, and Ewan is, must be sweating buckets now, because Clements is on a charge. Five seconds he's got over the, his nearest rival, which is Ethan Graham, and then Volbrecht, who sort of freed himself away from fourth place, with Piper and Sharp still fifth and sixth, respectively. Liam New still in seventh, and again, Leon Welsh looking so quick in that Mitsubishi. The only problem is he's got to try and get by Liam New for seventh, and then his teammate just ahead of him, Matt Sharp, and said he's battling with Piper. Yeah, I mean, for Clements having a five second gap, it means he's pretty free to try and attack Lloyd without losing, without too much risk of Graham catching up and getting involved. Yeah, just looking at an eye out then on Liam. Let's, let's try it on board then with Leon. As you see, there looks like Sharp and Piper battling for 5th and 6th, just ahead. And Piper looks like he's leaning on uh, Sharp, trying to get a side draft by the looks of it. Got a few of the SSM boys in there. We've got Sander in here saying, yo, how are you doing there, uh, Sander? Looks like Sharp holding on that 5th position there. Welsh running a little wide from turn two and you see the gap opened up now looks like he's going defensive though because it looks like corner head and looks like he had a bit of a run and just protects us the lead there top two then three temps then still five seconds away from Ethan Graham who sits in third Volbrecht in fourth fifth is this battle then with Sharp and you've got now Piper and Liam uh, sorry Liam New now catching up to the back end of Piper who runs wide out of the far uh, one of the corners. So that's going to give New an opportunity to close up. And also Piper just gently kissing the wall out of the penultimate corner into the last turn. Now what is Liam going to do? Trying to work around the outside. Is Piper going to give him the room on the outside? Liam will have the run off of the corner. And that is a position change there. So that's a good, well set up pass there from New. But Piper will have the inside at the bank turn one. Not unless if he's got it done before going into turn one, which unfortunately he hasn't. And Piper's going to be back through. Meanwhile, Hedden is still looking away around the outside of Leon Welsh into the first corner. 
And Liam has actually got sick place there. So good effort that from Liam, although he wants a little while out of town And nearly hits the wall yet again. And back into sick now goes Piper. And looks like Liam is going to do the, exactly the same thing, which lost him that spot. And now he's lost it down to Heron and possibly to Leon Welsh, which he has done. Yeah, he had sex and then lost it, and now he's down in ninth place. And this is Free Dash to go and claim fifth place. Oh, Leon thought better of a three wide. It was a Valvoline Mondale's fight. And uh, just also there that McIntosh, we ain't told a lot about McIntosh. He's at the back end of the pack there and a long way away from Natural, who is also on a set of mediums. Now, let's have a look down in the top two. Half a second now separates the top two as we've got three laps to go. Ewan going to the middle of the track there to try and break the tool from Clements. But this battle for sick place, though, is really raging. Sharp has now pulled up to nearly a three second advantage, but it's now Connor Heron who made up for that lost time at the best fish at the start of the race where he had a dreadful start and now he's recovering and he's got a decent sick place yeah it's piper who's been shuffled back down to ninth now these lot have all come through but i mean if they keep having contact like that or if adam stops hitting the inside wall adam could get another seventh mm -hmm. or sixth back Nose to tail, 7th, 8th and 9th. Connor's starting to stretch his legs away from Leon. And now he's going to set his sights on Sharp for 5th place there. Still do, good showing it's actually from Sharp in this race. 5th place for him, good showing. It is, and I think uh, this is the closest Clements has been. Or it was, he's not had the greatest of exits from the turn. But this is, yeah, possibly the closest he's been out of the final turn. And he's got some run on him too. Look at the look at the, the slipstream. That that Mitsubishi is really quick here. Penultimate lap then. Lloyd looks like he's gonna have to defend the lead now and potentially for the win. Side by side through the bank burst cut her corner there. Clements there giving up an awful lot of room on the inside, trying to go for the old crisscross, which nearly worked, but then Lloyd had that covered. Oh, and now he's trying to break on back onto the racing line. He's trying to force a mistake there from Ewan. Still Graham, six seconds adrift though, but I mean, it's still good showing this from Ethan. Sharp's just clipped the wall out of turn two. Hopefully he doesn't do that too much more. The gap's coming down now to about 1.1 seconds here, but all eyes are on again for the battle for the lead. Ewan Lloyd versus Chris Clements, the top two in the championship. They both had Fact a win to their right. name this season. I mean, uh, this race is... Ewan, Ewan won the first race. Clements won the second race. At this rate, Volbrecht could have a chance at Graham for uh, for third. He's a second away, and Graham's had some a couple of poor laps, some 12s, some 13s. So here we go, then. The last lap, then, of the day. The night, sorry. And look at the top two side by side, then. Clements to the inside, through the bank first corner, and takes the lead away from Lloyd. Clements will still have the inside for turn two. It's going to make it stick there. Nearly rubbing there. Again, Clements giving Lloyd the room on the outside. So fair, respectful reason. But Clements is through. Now can he hold on for just a few more corners to get his fourth win of the season? Maybe this was his plan. Take it on the last lap and not have Lloyd be towed around and fight back. That is, it's a very well executed plan. It looks like Graham's got back into his game now his fastest lap on the last lap so there should be no threat for Volbrecht and looks like Connor Hedden is caught up now too sharp in that in that fifth position but again there's one more corner to go and it's down to this last turn I think that's turn 10 Lloyd faking a move to try and put Clements off but I think Clements is far too experienced to do that mistake uh, or oh, has he now nah, he's got it done now so it looks like across the line Clements you know, what was that? A sixth in race one. Two wins here tonight. Human Lloyd second. Third place will just go to his teammate there, Ethan Graham. And then you've got Volbrecht will cross the line in fourth. But who's going to get fifth place? It looks like it's going to be Sharp here. So Sharp ending the night on a strong run. A top five then for our Sharp. Oh, is he? Connor's getting very close there. Side by side across the line. But Sharp takes it by seven hundreds of a second. Liam New in seventh. Eighth place still goes to uh, Adam Piper. Ninth place to Leon Well, she kind of drifted her way back there such a shame there and now we've got to wait 16 seconds for Nashville to cross the line in 10th place and uh, McIntosh 
who must have had a series of problems, even on the slower tyres, and he will finish in last place. And one more time there, that was uh, Kimchi, who had uh, unfortunately left the lobby. But uh, what, what about that then for Chris Clements? His fourth win of the season, his fifth fastest lap. Could it be his season to get to finally crown him, uh, give him the championship to him? It definitely could, but it looks like, you know, Lloyd might be potentially his biggest threat, and he doesn't look like he wants to give it up too easily. But it was good, respectful racing between the two there, at least, so not a sour fight. Yeah, not a sour fight there, and again, top two in the championship. It could have all ended in tears, but again, the respect shown by Lewin and Chris there was... It was it was good to see, and that's that's what we wanted to see there in this in this. I know there's been a little bit of argy bargy, especially in Brands Hatch and what have you. And you know, seeing those two race there just shows a good advertisement for this racing. So there's a look then at unofficial of, of the results there: Clements, Lloyd, Graham, Volbrecht, Sharp, Heron, New Piper, Leon Welsh, uh, Nasho, and McIntosh, and again, uh, Kimchi unfortunately retiring from the race. So that has been round three of the FTR BTCC blueprints with STD Ash 84's designs. We're going to be starting the second half of the season next week at Fuji. So I think that's been a little while since we last raced there, wasn't it? I think it was, eh? Yeah, I think season nine, something like that, when yes. I raced Jake Hell for the win in race three. Yeah, indeed, yeah. Yeah, so there we go then. So looking forward to be racing back, especially on that long straightaway, the, the mile-long start finish rate at Fuji. So anyway, we're going to end the stream here. So thank you for, uh, for being watching. Don't forget to give this race a like, uh, a thumbs up as well. Uh, again, we are looking for one driver to, to, to fill in for Martin Kokorin. So if anyone is, you know, interested in it, message Ethan like on the Facebook there, FTR Facebook page or on or on Discord as well. There'll be I think there'll be a link in the in the description, I think. But anyway, that's the end of the stream. So I've been Sean. And I've been Liam. And we'll see you again next week at Fuji.